Tonight on Survivor 41 with Jay, Jack, and Colleen, we're going to share our Season 41 preseason predictions. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Jay. I'm Jack. <laughs> My name is Colleen. We went out of order. Yeah, come on. It's, you so always long. go last, Jack. What? Oh, uh, I thought we're, I, you know, I got yelled at before with not having a name that was a name, so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to take any chances. <laughs> oh my gosh! I look, I look like I'm a giant in here. Uh, yeah, it's like, because it's, like land, it's like land of the giants. <laughs> because you're you're pulling the classic like I'm old... so big. Oh he's, lordy, we've gone off the rails already. He's, he's pulling the classic like old man on Zoom thing where he's just like, ha, you can see me, right? What? No, what? you don't have enough rabbit filters over your face. Well, luckily, uh, not, luckily, I don't work for CNN. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh. <laughs> Anywho, I believe he's a worker, but yes. <laughs> uh, there we go. We'll, we'll make Jack the big video here. So, uh, yes, we are back after two years. Is it of, been two years? Uh, there, when a year and a half. It was May 2020. Was it hmm. May 2020? Yeah, because remember they had to do the finale for season 40 over Zoom. Well, that's so, right. Like, Tony won, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, Tony won!" And then I got really drunk, and that's the last time you guys have heard from me. But Ugh. like. Uh, no, yeah, I know. Well, not us. It I mean, hasn't been long enough. Hasn't been long <laughs> enough. But uh, excited to be here and with bringing yeah. this show back, we're doing it live. Uh, better than Bill O'Reilly. Uh, we will be talking that about. Was his condition to do this. <laughs> he was like, I'll do it, but we're doing it live. We're doing it live uh, <laughs> in front of a live studio audience every night. So uh, he this... wants to make us behave and hold us accountable. Yes. I don't know if that's ever going to work, <laughs> but here we are. Uh, so, uh, on Wednesday nights after the episode, what do you think? Probably 10, 15, uh, Maybe. thereabouts every night I'm after using, the episode. I'm ready to go like at 9.01. Isn't it like 9.15? Oh, it? you're right. I'm sorry. I was thinking the show started at 9 o'clock. Yes. We'll, we'll say 9.15. Yeah. Um, I guess well, is, is next week's episode just one hour or is it two hours? Just figure 15 minutes after whatever, at whatever time the episode we'll ends. We'll also post the links. We'll also post the links on this channel ahead of time. And this channel is the Jane Jack YouTube channel. We set it up, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. So uh, definitely give it a subscribe and click on that bell icon to make sure you're notified when this episode drops. Also, make sure to hit that like button. That's very important. The chat is already hopping tonight. We got Ro, Ruble, Jay on a Survivor podcast. Woohoo! Did pigs fly? Uh, There's there enough time for me to forget why I hated recording with Colleen. Um, but there's plenty of, uh, there's actually less days in this season, so it might not get to that full level yet. Uh, Randy is also in the house. Elena, my favorite is in the house. I shouldn't pick favorites, but Elena, you're my favorite. Uh, also, that's actually true. Uh, I, I own it is here every week live. Yeah. Every week. What? Huh? That's Sherry. Yes, I know, but I'm, I, maybe she didn't want to be I, anyways. Sherry, good to see you as well. Every week live, yes, every week live, we will be here talking. I can't survivor. guarantee that every week I'll be alive. Try. Li- live, but not alive, right? Yes. Wear your that- mask. Do your best. I am getting up there in age. <laughs> um, but we'll we'll go it for as long as uh, as we can live. But uh, either way, excited to be here talking Survivor with all of you. So uh, now, as is tradition. With Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen, we do a preview episode. I take my sweater off for this one. I'm getting uh, before off. the season starts, and uh, yeah, Sherry's been outed. I'm sorry. I, I was trying to to keep your privacy. You know, here. She, she's wanted by the FBI, and uh, and they blew it blew up your spot. But uh, the goal uh, of usually our preview episodes is to kind of do our preseason picks. So. Uh, we kind of made some adjust, or I made some adjustments to the point structure. So hopefully, uh, you will definitely be complaining about that soon enough. Uh, Silent Heroes, Ryan, uh, my good friend, is in the house. Oh, I just uh, my best friend as well. Yeah, well, Colleen's doxing people on the channel. It's just well, I it's didn't not say cool. where she lived. <laughs> well, please number. don't. <laughs> well, we'll see how many. Uh, how once the once the drinks fly, if Colleen starts giving out addresses, so. 
We'll just we'll try oh and keep. Oh my gosh! We'll try well, speaking, keep... speaking of addresses, I'll talk about that on the Ramblecast. Um, we will be doing uh, Is that a threat. <laughs> oh, we will be trying to keep uh, these episodes uh, tight to an hour. Um, so that's is what you can expect. I believe Jack's probably uh, upset that I gave somebody uh, his address instead of my address. No oh, when big did you give deal. somebody your his? I don't know. I was just like, I don't know if. Hey, this guy seems. I don't fine, know if but... this guy's a serial killer. I'll give my parents' address. Exactly. They've already lived the full life. Yeah. What is, what is... So that's why you keep saying Jack might not be alive every season. <laughs> <laughs> but either way excited to talk survivor night and go through the cast list and do our preseason picks to see how far these people will go um well chris in the chat uh chris asks how will these scoring adjustments favor jay well <laughs> well he's obviously okay, so is not new to the podcast jay called me down before so <laughs> jay called me down before because i i actually have started a new job over the last since the last time we all talked and i used to work about maybe 90 minutes a day and then have a whole lot of time for things like, you know, watching survivor videos, but I actually, um, work now, have a yeah, job I work now. all the time now. It's actually a lot, um, which is fine, which is good, which is good. Cause I like being busy and I like my job, but, um, so I didn't start really doing the cast assessments until about eight. So Jay calls me down though, at some point during my prep time, and he was like, how did we do the scoring? And I was like, seriously? Like, can I lie and tell you how I want you to do the scoring? Or <laughs> This is my prep time. <laughs> uh, Listen, Jack, you said you spent hours I prepping. Color-coordinated okay. notes. So. All right. I, I, well, I did, but I may have been lying. Let's let's quit beating around the bush. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get to it. He's, his, he's turning the microphones off at 10 p.m. Yeah, I'll, I'll kick you out of this room. And, and, I have and, the power. And Randy's not funny. No, it was not my Twitter address, Randy. No, it was no. the actual address. No, not my Twitter address, right? Um, anyway, uh, it's like one of those things, like I realized it once I did it. I do apologize, but I'm sure it's fine. It, it wasn't ticking or anything. You, sp you smell smoke? <laughs> Wait. Are we being smoked out of the house? It wasn't ticking? What the heck did you uh, Did you no, mail I, no, Somebody wanted to send me a book. I need to get a, I need to get a P.O. box for the Geek Dead Life stuff. End of story. That's what I get. And then, Jack, if you want, we, <laughs> Wait, somebody we can Geek hold on. Life Jack's address. <laughs> All right, that has nothing to do with this episode, so let's get okay. on track. It, is it the but, guy that wanted to nail the Cabernet? Because if it was oh, the wine no. guy. Okay. No, All right, so we usually go through the cast list. I like how you're doing this, so I don't have to do any work. Exactly. See, see, this is what I do for you. This is this is called real producing, by the way. All right. Um, all right, Jeez, so. real hard right now. First up on our cast <laughs> list <laughs> is <here>. Sydney Seagal. <laughs> I how to calling. The let's focus. Mm. Can't hear you if you're talking Sydney over Sydney Seagal. People. So Sydney Seagal, she is on Luvu. And if Lu you remember, is that is that real? What this Luvu? Luvu. What? It's That's the blue tribe. tribe. That's okay. the name of the tribe. Uh, it's blue. Um, and if you remember what we do, uh, so I think we only did one point per correct thing. Now we're gonna uh, spice it up a little bit. Uh, you will get one point if it's a pre-merge guess and it's correct. You will get three points if they make it to merge and your guess was correct. And you get five points if you uh, if they make it to final three and you're correct. Now, again, no, if this is your first time playing at home, uh, we have our preseason picks, which allows to have or allows us to have tally points. And then after the first episode, we make our picks on who's going to get voted out the next week. You could get a point if you're right there. You can also get uh, we pick who we think is going to win after next week's episode. And uh, that, it's a staggering or cascading point system. So if your first pick makes it all the way to the end, you win. It's 15 points. If they get, or if your first pick gets booted out, you make another pick, that's worth five. And then if that one gets booted, any pick from that point on, you get one point. Okay. Wasn't there a thing where you lost points too? You you can wager your tally points. Uh, uh, that But that's kind of, you know, it has to be agreed upon by the two parties wagering their points i can't remember who won last season was it you jack or was it colleen no I, I i bombed out last time didn't i i think you won and you were like i'm this is my last season because You're i right won. and i quit it was great but now i'm back but just I, like I, I, yeah. I, 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 quit think, you guys. I think half my people were out by i kept losing people yeah just like um that football player dude that kept saying he was going to retire every season and didn't was that like peyton manning or something um no uh brett Favre. No. Oh, Brett Favre. Oh, yeah. Brett Favre. 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 
Are you boxers, right? boxers, boxers do it all the time. Podcast? So here we go. Boxers do it all the time. Yeah, talk about Again, these people. Let's not talk. Thought. Colleen, you can't talk over us. We can't hear you if you do it. First up is Sydney Seagal, 26, from Los Angeles, California. Currently is in Brooklyn. Law student. Hobbies. Running, knitting, crocheting. <laughs> Pet peeves, bloody noses. <laughs> <laughs> so she's not a, she's not into MF. Uh, what's that? Uh, MF. What was the math? The fighting. MMA. M- MMA. MMA. Yeah. Sniffing, not... snoring, heavy breathing, coughing. Um, oh, she's gonna do so great. So, at so, ba- so basically, she's not a fan of COVID. Yeah, <laughs> and it seems like she's not a fan of vaccines either. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> I, I I don't know. She says she's buff, but not intimidating. Any um, relation to Steven Seagal? Which past survivor will you play the game most like Natalie White? Natalie White, that she just coasted. Natalie White, the one that didn't do anything and won because everybody hated Russell. Yeah, uh, I then... watched this chick's videos. There's a zero percent chance that. Okay, she okay. Well, let's wait. Wait to your picks. Let's wait to your picks. She speaks Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and some French. Her father is her hero. Uh, he is the second Messiah to me. Holy moly. I bet you this. I bet you she's related to Steven. Seagal. I bet you she is too. I wouldn't be surprised if it is because she's from Beverly Hills. In her, one of her videos on like ET Canada, she kept talking about how she's been to forty nine countries and she's like from Beverly Hills, but she's actually really chill and really rugged. And um, just because she's from Beverly Hills, people are going to think that she's rich, but she actually she's not rich. She has her daddy's money. She's like. <laughs> Wait, is that make her rich? Anyways, let's go <laughs> to our picks for Sydney. I get to go first here. I say not a chance she makes it past pre-merge. Uh, Colleen, oh, I'm sorry, Jack, you are up next. I'm going to say if she is related to her dad, his, her dad never won an Oscar. She's not going to win Survivor. <laughs> so I'm saying she's out pre-merge. Pre-merge. All right, Colleen. Uh, not only do I think she's out pre-merge, I think that she really she's... might be the first one out on her tribe. Like she was just so like I really liked her on paper when I read her thing because I where I read them first and then I went to the videos. But like hearing her talk, I was like, oh honey, you are <laughs> none of these things. Except she kept saying that she's people are gonna think she's smart because she went to Columbia, but she's not really <laughs> smart. She just got in on a track scholarship. <laughs> And <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are you saying first can, out? Can, can I call? Can I call her honey, or is that sexist? Uh, I, I, I don't. Do it. <laughs> I, I, I want to know the rules. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. You could be canceled at any time, Jack. I guess I, I, I've never said that. I've never actually. I don't think I've ever used that. <laughs> yeah, you've never you used that. You might have gotten him canceled from it, life with your attraction. Uh, exactly. I'm a, I, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm dead man walking. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so uh, Colin, did you want to wager an extra point on if she's first out? Mm, No, I'll I'll bet you a point on that. Ooh, first side bet. Jack will bet his own tally point. So that means you would be negative one. He'd be up one and vice versa. If... No, because I have an actual first person out, okay. and I don't know if they're on the same track. Whatever, honey. I I don't. Think... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's move along here then. Uh, next up is Danny McRae, the former football player. I was going to so, say, that's a, that's a football name. Um, and uh, will this – I don't think a sports star has won yet. So will Danny McRae break the, the cycle – who um, played for? So not only has an NBA, he played for the Chicago uh, Bears, I believe. The Bears he came oh, off. Bears. He's really likable. Um, so. I really liked him as well in the in the videos, in both the preview and he was my favorite as well. And my favorite part about his picture is that his bathing suit matches the water exactly. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, going to some of the comments here, that uh, Ryan says, "Ooh, points for when Jack will get canceled." <laughs> <laughs> uh also Ro, uh steven seagal different spelling so we had some but, clarifications but, there. but, you but if you if you wanted to hide who you were yeah, you would put it wanna... different spelling okay. yeah, and how do you know that seagal spelled s-e-a-g-a-l is his um you yeah, know and plus, uh, and plus I, I'm, I'm guessing spelling. i'm guessing steven seagal can't spell anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh you want to he's like a like a super black belt or something is he but i've seen him lately i think i even as bad a shape of i'm in i think i can still outrun him 
Uh, favorite sur- or uh, most likely or the the style I guess most likely he'll play like Ben Boom Drybergen. I don't Ben Boom Bride. Who's ben. that? Is that is that Ben? ben. Just ben. Is that ben, ben who won with yeah. the terrible? Yeah, Ben who won because he found an idol under his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's in my pocket? Oh, it's an idol. Um, yeah, that's who I wouldn't I wouldn't because that's just luck. It is. Yeah, that was that was Danny. the producers wanted him to win. I don't know, maybe yeah. controversial to say. Really they were like, liked you don't them. like I, this Ryan and this uh, <laughs> mom lady. Uh, <laughs> sure that <Ben> wins. <laughs> really liked them, though, in uh, the videos that we saw so far. Jack, you are up first. Pre-merge. I, I, merge, I will say or, merge. I, I think okay. the dude makes the merge. He looks like a likable, likable guy. Okay. Uh, I guess. No, why would I be up next? Colleen should be up next. Uh, whatever. I'm sorry, Colleen. Um, I'm itching my nose over here. I, I say merge. Sure. That's what Seinfeld said. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't stop thinking about it. Jay, can you share this Google Docs with us so we have it on the occasion? Um, no, because I don't want you editing it behind my back. I'm not going to edit it behind your back. I'm just... I don't. I don't need. It. I've already forgot who I picked first. Um, I will. <laughs> I will share a unsullied. Uh, uh, you should post it on, on. It should be in the group chat in the notes of the. Uh, so I'm the people listening at home. Can he's see worried it every that week. people are going to edit it. I will. I again. I will. Oh, share. I see. I see. I maybe okay. just share it, but don't make. Don't give permission. Exactly. I'll just share as a viewable doc. Exactly. And hopefully, you guys don't mess with it. Uh, I'm gonna say this is my first of my three final threes. Ooh. Wow. I forgot. An alley three. I like it. Um. All right. Next up is Liana Wallace. Uh, our first person Wait, from did, did Colleen. Did Colleen pick? Yeah. I said merch. Said okay. Merch. Okay. I'm sorry. Merch. Um, next up is Liana Wallace. Oh, she's the one with MS, right? Maybe, yes. Really? She doesn't look that old. Uh, you can have MS. I've, I know, I've I know. I'm just saying it's young. sad. I mean, it's Wait, I think. 20. Uh, my friend who <laughs> is 23 when she got it because oh, of no, Chantel a Chantel is the one with okay. MS. Sorry. Um, all right. But a uh, game, uh, the most play like Tony Vlacos. Do you promise? Right. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna she's gonna hide in a tree. She's gonna dig it a hole. Are in the you sand. gonna mama to me? Um, I'm gonna bury myself alive and have a straw <laughs> so I can listen. I mean, to it. right? Could I? I wish. Right? We wish all players could play with the reckless abandon abandon of Tony. Um. So yeah, please, please, if she could. Um. She was invited to perform my spoken word for Congressman John Lewis during a fundraiser. That's a uh, pretty oh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. Um. Spent a portion of her childhood in Tokyo. Hero is Missy Copeland, the first female African American dancer to be promoted to a principal dancer for the American Ballet. Yeah. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Is she a dancer? So that means she'd be a pretty athletic, right? I mean, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you can so. you can like dancers and not yeah. be a good dancer. She's a know. college student. Yeah. Oh. She's twenty. Um. So let's get to it, Colleen. You have first pick here. I think she makes the merge. She's on. She's on the Lulu tribe. No, the other tribe. She is on the Yasi tribe. tribe. So our first Yasi, Yasi. in yellow. Ass queen tribe. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Am I next? You, uh, no. Oh, well, hold on, Colleen. What would you say? You said merge. I apologize. I think merge. I think she's gonna make the merge. Okay. I hope, like you know, she doesn't choke or whatever. But like, you know. okay. Uh, I have the next pick, and I'm going to say. I'm just going to go for it. I'm saying final three. Seriously? Wow. Yeah. Wow. You Wow, you're blowing your load. Just because you pick your final three right away doesn't mean you can leave the recording. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Uh, Jack, you get a pick I, here. I'm going the other the other way. She's a young person. Young people tend not to do well sometimes because, well, you know. Mm-hmm. You know. I'm going to I'm gonna oh. say, I'm gonna say she's, she's pre-merge. I get that logic, but there's a lot of people that are young on this cast this yeah, year. Yeah, I didn't check the age, but so um, honestly, my assessment of this cast was there were I everybody got up there except for one person. So like 19 out of 20 people were like, I don't want people to think that I'm too smart because I go to Columbia, because I go to Harvard, because I go to this. Like I swear to God, like eight of them went to an Ivy League school and were like, I don't want people to know how smart I am. And then, or people were like, I'm a lot smarter than I look. I look like a dumb jock, but I'm really actually very smart. I've developed apps. And then there's one person who didn't. And that was Sydney, who was like, I went to a smart school, but I'm pretty dumb. (laughs) 
and we'll see how that plays out. Let's next go to our first member of the Ua tribe, Brad Reese, in green. Remember? Um, this guy looked like a, a Brady, a lost Brady uh, child. <laughs> Um, <laughs> from the Brady Bunch, like Greg, like Greg Brady's stand-in or something. Um, <laughs> like that's clearly not to be ageist, but I have a lot of gray hair. He's clearly dying his hair. That's way too dark to be natural. I'm sorry. Why? The roots are going to start to show. That's all did I'm he, saying. Did he just? Did he just Why don't we have he's a root fifty. Watch? Did he just, did he just, did he just come out of the water? Old. This anyway. guy is a super tool. I'm sorry if you're watching, Brad, but like. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like it because clearly he's dying. He's fifty years old. No way his hair is that dark. Oh, he's fifty. He's I mean, fifty. He got up there. Let's give the guy some credit. He's in pretty good shape for fifty. Look, he was like, "I'm a master of all trades. Um, <laughs> I'm the most. What was it? the most? Uh, a what's up? What I wrote? A P. I don't know. The most flexible, <laughs> most something out here. Like he was just like." I get, I'm like the smartest, I'm the this, I'm the that. And I was like, my note literally says, bracket, <laughs> I roll, bracket. Plus he's, plus he's not from a real state, right? Uh, well, what was the state? I apologize, I missed that. Um, <laughs> Wyoming, yeah, I guess what, there's three people there. Uh, I, I apologize to the one listener we have in Wyoming. Uh, but Roe, uh, Root Watch, indeed. Again, no way, no way it's that dark naturally. Um, we just call him Root Watch. Root Watch. <laughs> Uh, what's wrong? What's what's wrong with dyeing your hair? I don't I don't get it. There's nothing wrong with it, but it, it just looks unnatural. It's way too dark. Oh my god! You we get a, silent you're heroes. Gonna... Ryan, my OCD is trying hard not to request access to this Google Doc and fix the formatting consistencies. Listen, Ryan, settle Please down. Help him, Ryan. <laughs> settle. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it big enough so everyone could see. Ryan, at Ryan, home. this is just the first week. That's what it's, she said. It's, it's, getting, it's only going to get worse. Uh, Truett uh, says he seems like such a goat. No strate strategic ability whatsoever. But so, hey, goat's good now, isn't it? No, I well, that's if it's sports. But in Survivor, goat is bad, remember? Yeah, so Spoiler. all caps sure. locks, G, capital G, capital O, capital A, capital T is greatest of all time. But if it's just goat, then it's Survivor Go. Okay, so I'm glad fun, some, someone finally explained that to me. You're welcome. I'm not, I just Again, not understand. I that. made the font smaller it's here, everyone, so we could see it easier. Okay, uh, Brad, I'm saying pre merge. P possibly first out of Ua, but uh, no, Jack, you're up next. I'm, for first out. I'm gonna say he makes the merge. Really? I, yeah, I agree with he's, you. He's used to high, you know, he's from a state where there's nobody there, right? <laughs> so he's used to being under the radar. Uh -huh. He'll be he'll be walking around. No one's even gonna know he's there. They won't know how to. Vote. They won't vote for him because they won't know he's there. Oh no, they're gonna know he's there. Trust and, me. And I'm just Look kidding. That hair. Be well, you, you are right. If we're talking about goat, he's so annoying that someone brings him along. So that's it's merge is not a bad pick here. So I think that's fair. Colleen, where do you plus, land? Plus, let's be fair too. He's athletic, and I know that doesn't make as much mean as much anymore. But still, he looks athletic. Yeah. So I think he. I think he's gonna make the merge. Um, but again, he's just going to be like a meat, not a meat shield for somebody. What's the, what's the term for like a, a Troy's shield? Meat shield. Troy's shield. <laughs> or a meat shield is like buff and I guess goat shield. I don't know. Meat shield is when it's a, it's a cannibal, cannibal survivor. <laughs> oh God. Please Maybe no. he just gives that. You're right. That I'm me. hungry. But that's another thing shield. that Sydney also called herself a jack of all trades and was like, I'm the most amazing person out there. I, I want people to stop using that term. Jack yeah, of all trades. Jack of all trades. You find I, it's I, a good, I, I it's it not offensive. a bad thing. I don't care. I find it offensive. I don't think that works that way. But okay. Uh, <laughs> next up is Erica Kasupanen. Kasupanen? Kasupanen. It looks like the same guy. No, <laughs> give me a second. Erica, she is a Canadian. Or wait, no, she's from Niagara Falls. I guess I we don't know what say, side that is, but lives in Toronto. Be a Canadian, right? She said current residence is Toronto. And have somebody from Sri Lanka on the cast. Has she um, ever done the barrel over the falls? Communications manager, fun, fearless, <laughs> empathetic, most proud of any ill student loans. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, which past survivor we play the game most like? Brenda on the outside, Todd underneath. Brenda's physically strong, so she wear, not afraid of short teeth. Todd is my all-time favorite player. He can channel his ability to influence others and always be strategically in control of the game. I've Which been manipulative since before I knew what manipulation was. Wow. Well. 
She looks like such a nice girl. And now we're just finding out she's just. Uh... Well, listen, that's some, that's sometimes are the best manipulators, right? Yeah. They're gonna trick you into doing things. Huh. It so, like her purple hair. with that being said, she is on the Luvu tribe with Sydney and Danny, as we've seen so far. Jack, you have the first pick here. I'm going to say merge. She sold me. Okay. All right. I, before, I, before you started, I was like, no, no way. She's gone. I I'm, saying, she, I'm saying merge. I think she might be pre merge. Yeah, That's I did from picks. This is nice. I think she is pre merge all the way. Per merge? Per merge. Per merge. Permerberg <laughs> is uh, right here. Right here. Thank well. you. All right. Uh, next up is Jarius Robinson. Okay. Uh, so Young loves the Jesus, if I remember his videos correctly. Oklahoma oh, I City. I did not watch any of the Love the Jesus videos. I watched the videos where he was another one that was like, he literally said, I am younger than Survivor itself. He, d- <laughs> he did that not. in his like, uh, preview videos like from mb or cbs okay i was like oh my god i would have guessed i would have guessed older than 20 from this photo yeah he's born his whole thing was like i was born after survivor and 9 11 oh everything is very i was born after world war ii (laughs) saying also we stream on youtube you can't i don't think you can say uh 9 11 oh crap now i just said it darn it okay moving on are we gonna get like a copyright thing? Or no, is it's just I don't work? know. They kind of they kind of flag words and stuff like that. Anywho, YouTube is uh, strict. I don't know. I don't know the rules. Anywho, Jarius Robinson, <laughs> Oklahoma City, from lives, and uh, highly high energy, charismatic. Um, listed a pretty uh, all star list: Parvati, Fabio, and Jeremy Collins. Charm like Parv. Fabio's ability to be underestimated. Um, and, uh, I want to work with Jeremy's shield management into my gameplay. You know, it's, it's not every day that you have somebody aspire to be like Fabio. Right? Like, yeah. does anybody really want to? Well, you know, the he, he, he men, won. they want things, they want things that are different. Um, I liked him, but he was one of the two people in his age group that kept insisting like that he was just, he's smarter than, you know, he looks. And I hope that that doesn't like. All right. Well, give him some kind of false bravado or something that annoys people. Colleen, where are you putting him? Um, I'm gonna say pre-merge. Pre-merge. Because I don't have enough pre-merge picks, <laughs> but I, I really like him actually. I'm gonna say merge. I don't know. I'm flipping a coin on this one. I think it go either way. Don't think he'll win though. Uh, Jack, where are you going? Yeah, I just don't think he has the he's not old enough to take control right away and, and have it use people as a shield. If that's a strategy, I, he's pre-merge. Right. Hey, maybe somebody in the, in the chat can tell me this, but um, who's the youngest survivor winner? Is it, is it uh, uh, Todd? Is that his name? Todd? Yeah. Who's, who's the youngest survivor winner? Don't not what's, mean. not what's his name. The guy that w- said, uh, uh, Jack, you said pre-merge. I, I, I missed that. Pre-merge, yes. Pre-merge. All right. Uh, let us know in the chat. And how Evie, old were they when they won? Evie Yagoda. I like the name. Uh, the I knew you were going to say that. I was like, you can call her Evie. Yeah. Uh, I thought well, I, about I it, but, Yagoda. You know, exactly. I just didn't want to do too much of an inside joke. But yes, Evie Yagoda, 28, Westchester, the best Chester. PhD student, <laughs> is extroverted. She, is she related to a Vagoda? Maybe. No, Vag- no that's Yagoda or Jagoda. Oh, okay. I'm going to guess the soft J. I'm guessing soft J. Okay, the answer was Fabio at 21. Fabio was 21? Oh, my God. In my mind, I thought with that hair that he was always like 45. So, <laughs> this is But, but, but how, old are, how old is he now, though? <sighs> Don't know. All right. So, um, 35? Uh, who is your hero, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, and uh, AOC? And for player, another Jeremy reference. Also, Todd, Todd, and Jeremy getting a lot of rep tonight. Um, she also seemed to be featured a lot in the CBS, yeah, yeah I um, a media in preparation for this season. So I believe Colleen, your first. Where are you putting Evie? Uh, I think she makes the merge. 
Okay. I'm going to go merge as well. I, I feel like possibly final four. But I don't, not final three. Uh, Jack, where are you going? A, I have a guess for who I think is going to be Sweep the final it. four person. Sweep it as a merge? Yeah. Okay. All right. I, need so, I need some merge. I have too many pre-merge. <laughs> you hate Jack them doesn't all. believe in anybody. <laughs> I just, they're, they're, nothing's grabbing me. No, no, no one's like, eh. That, that is a problem with uh, not watching any of the videos beforehand. Uh, well, next plus, up. plus her photos, her eyes are shut. No, it's not. Yeah, they are. They're Her eyes halfway. are closed. Yeah, halfway. they are. Oh, she got, okay, she has one eye open. They're both They're open. Both open. You're blind. Arr, she's a pirate. Um, <laughs> She'll be like Rupert. We have a, a couple uas, a couple uas in a row. Richard Foye or Foye. Okay, I really liked him. Okay, I liked and, him. And, and, he, and he's not ashamed to go gray. For, uh, agreed. Agreed. Also, I, I seriously liked him, and I'm going to put him in my final three because whoa, 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 I – Whoa, 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 wait, wait, whoa. I, I think it's my pick, and I was going to pick make my final three. Let's no, settle, you were not. Settle was, down. I, is, I is, the page, <laughs> is the page up to put the final th- – or what, what your picks are? Just give it a second. Um, I like him, although I will say he looks like a gray Eric Hosmer, which is a ding for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> really does, doesn't he? All right, we'll, we'll see if he's related. Throw a ball at him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Flinch, Eric Hosmer flinches more than I did Eric as a Hosmer kid. is the first baseman for the Padres for all of you out there. Not, um, But, you know, a, a lot to like. Great season. <laughs> lot to like about this guy. Deaf in one ear like me. Um, also, favorite player, Aubrey. Love Aubrey. First Aubrey reference. So he's going to finish in second. Hobbies, violin, running, and a winter guard. Winter guard. Uh, I think I'm up first here. I'm going to use my final, final three pick. And I be- is this a sweep? Jack, you're going final three as well? I'm going to go final three. So I re- what I really liked about him was his, um, uh, they, they're having a baby. His husband's having a baby due the week after that they get back. So. Oh. Uh, so he, he got so, that's so basically he was like I can't tell anybody that because if what, they what, know that I'm willing to risk missing my my son being born to win Survivor then obviously I'll you know do anything to win ooh. and that uh, is it is it the first you said first baby no second baby oh, okay <laughs> so they must have a daughter it's a it's a different one the first one uh, yeah, Elena Elena asks is he the flight attendant I'm pretty sure yes okay well, there you go. So right now he's dealing with people. Put on your mask. Oh! <laughs> yeah, right. So he's he's ready to battle. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up is our uh, another Ua Chantel. And is this the one you said is currently with MS? Not that, that yes, matters. Yes, I believe she said she had MS. But uh, also from Toronto, but lives in D.C. Pet peeves, bad breath. You guys want to be friends, Colleen. Uh, yeah. Second hand. You would hate me. <laughs> and she doesn't like slow talkers. Um, running <laughs> improv, acting, comedy, dancing. That's a quadruple fret. She does it all. Um, I probably going to play the game most like Kim. Kim. Oh, cool. Her Love first run, know. not the second time, I guess. Right. The Kim did not. Did she? Kim. Kim. Kim? One of the greatest players of all time. Oh, Kim! Kim. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the another. I'm thinking. Is it Kimberly? No, Kim. Who am I thinking? Who There's eat, only one Kim. Who, did, who didn't eat? Um, Kimber. Who didn't eat? Meat? Oh, Kimmy! 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 That's what I'm thinking. Of. Here's the thing, though. Here's my question: Is how can you say I am probably going to play the game most like Kim? Oh, strategically. I was going to say how strategically and relationally like Ty. I was like, what? Ty is one of the worst players ever. Ty's not one of the worst players. He Ty's, gar- Ty's guaranteed to go to the finals anytime he plays because he can't win. <laughs> because no one rewards hard work. It's not like that. It's just I don't. Yeah, I love again. I love Ty. Don't get me wrong. No, you don't. Like, you hate him. I don't. All right. You hate him. Chantel, Jack, you're up first. Merge. I think she makes a merge. Okay, Colleen. It has a sense of humor that goes a long way. So. Uh, Jay, how many players are there total? Are there only 18? Only 18. That's 26 okay, days. Thanks. So we're halfway through. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really liked her. I think that she's going to make the merge. I want to say that she's going to make a final, make the final three, but I'm not 
I, I don't. You only have one final three so far. With how many people do we have left? Uh, we have eight. eight or I guess seven. No, nine. Nine. Okay. Left. I got plenty of time. Oh yeah, nine plus nine is eighteen. Ha ha ha. Things that, I know uh, like tricky math. math there. Math, math is math. hard. It is hard. Um, so, uh, Colleen, gonna... you're saying merge? I'm gonna say merge. Okay. And I, <laughs> having no final threes left, will say merge. <laughs> All right. Next up, Nasir Mutalif. I, I really liked him. Uh, I like Nasir as well. Let's go to his picture. He was just very jolly and happy and like, you know, I don't know. From Sri Lanka, <laughs> lives in Morgan Hill, California, sales manager, oh, he's hobbies, cricket, traveling, cooking, authentic, yeah. outgoing, Our hardworking. He's never a good Pet trait. Peeves. No. I think this, if, if Jack ever got on the show, I think these would be your pet peeves, Jack. Is this right? Uh, laziness and people who don't contribute to group efforts. Would those be your pet peeves? Pet that peeves? would be, yeah, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, stand it. Um, Can't stand it. It's, and it's hard for me to keep quiet about stuff like that, too. Here and why. His mom. Got to love it's that. Hero. I notice everyone's saying their mom. It's an, it's an easy one. It's an easy one. Uh, which past survivor will you play the game most like? I think I'm pretty original. Not too similar to anyone who has played before. I put Mad that respect once, for I, that. I, I, I put that once in my, my notes, uh, my thing, my application. I uh -huh. didn't do it. How did didn't that, do how did that for work me. out for you? Uh, man, you would have had a better chance if you had said uh, Parvati, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I believe we... I did say it, but I, it wasn't pretty. So I did. I, I guess it fell out, you know. Uh, Colleen, you're up first for Nasir. Uh, I'm going to say he makes the merge. Merge. I'm going to say merge as well. Good personality. Uh, Jack. I say pre-merge. Whoa. It's it, it, his traits. I, I get it. Can he keep quiet? That's the thing. Interesting. Hard work. Hard work. Now, is this a little biased because this is you're you're kind of thinking of yourself in this That's situation? That's triggered right well, now. Yeah. But, I, but like I said, I I'm able to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I can Can he keep? If in a game, I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I, if I was on Survivor, I'd be like under my breath, like in confessionals. Those lazy sobs, lazy sobs. But if I, hey guys, I got it. Don't um, worry, I got it. Yeah, because you never I haven't, I haven't slept in five days, but I got it. I got it. <laughs> Go ahead and keep taking that 20 hour nap. Another UA member, Jeannie Chen from Los Angeles, California, currently lives in Portland, where the 90s are still alive. Grocery clerk, hobbies, cooking, video games, thrift store, and antique shopping. I can put mad respect on that. Player, uh, the most like. I don't believe in playing like any other contestant before. I'm going to have many alliances, so I can that's, always that's have the best so, option. That's so original. <laughs> yeah. Nobody Jeannie, actually played the game with a lot of alliances. What craziness. I'm saying pre merge. Jack, what do you think? I'll, I'll say merge because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also, I'm also going to say pre merge. Okay. But I hope I'm wrong. Some interesting names. There's not like they're not like uh, everyday names. You notice that? Um, that's that's one of the keys, uh, Jack. Your name's too normal. I know. Uh, next up is right. Xander Hastings, more than likely an Alexander. Um, but going down here, it looks like another youngin. So this was the other dude that was like, people are gonna think I'm dumb because of how I look, but I'm actually really really smart. I develop apps. So, I thought you could develop abs. I was saying that's my <laughs> joke. Uh, anyway, um, Jack, uh, hometown Jacksonville, Florida, currently is in Chicago. App developer, hobbies, free you climbing. You also goes to like a smart college. Road tripping, antique shopping, and graphic design. That is the oh my uh, god, he is antique app. shopping. He is one tally point away from long walks on the beach. I know, right? <laughs> Most proud of Nike Cross Nationals is the Super Bowl of Cross Country. Boring. Um, a hero on Dally My Dad. Boring. Um, oh yeah, that's not which boring. past survivor will you play most His like? His dad was in the Navy and the Peace Corps. Now he's a doctor. I know, but again, boring. Uh, for <laughs> I don't think so, Xander. Playing the game most like uh, Jay, Joe, Devin. I think I play most like Jay, a fellow Florida boy. Uh, another jack of all trades reference, Xanda. Yeah. 
And I believe, uh, Jack, you are up first. I'm gonna even though you said Jack of all trades, I'm gonna say final three. Whoa! Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. We have six left after this, so you have that's your second final three. Colleen, right. you're up. I'm gonna say. I guess I'll say merge because people like him generally stay around until the merge because they are needed for challenges and whatnot. So. All right. All right. And uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say merge as well. We should have came up. I was thinking we should have came up with one. Who's going to be the first one to look for the idol. <laughs> and get voted out. Definitely a uh, root watch guy. <laughs> that guy is already looking for it. I, I still say if, if you, you can go look for the idol, but there should be one that says you lose a vote. Like it's a, yeah. there's a, there's a risk to going to find the idol. All right. Yeah. Well, Next up is Sarah Wilson. Looks like Xander. Give me a second. Uh, 24, Sherman Oaks, California is a hometown, but currently resides in Boston, Mass. Healthcare consultant, hobbies, poker, aerial skills, and trapeze cooking and baking. Wow. Poker players usually don't do well on this, do they? Right. We would think they would, but yeah. they don't. Yeah. Remember Anna Kate and how terrible she was? <laughs> Don't you dare talk about Anna Kate like that. <laughs> well, there's that guy that was. It was, a, it was, guy, it no, was you he, don't want to like her anymore. She's. There was a professional. I'm not saying I gotta player. be friends with her. There, there's a professional <laughs> poker player who was like second out or something like that. I'm yeah, good at was... reading people. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, who was that? Because the, the general manager of the Marlins at the time was the first one out. He was the first mm -hmm. one out, and then was he was the brains second. Brain That's where the girl beauty. burned the rice. Yeah, his brains brown and, and she and she still didn't get voted out. That was Jatia. <laughs> Jatia, yeah. yeah. And she still didn't get voted out. <laughs> so Sarah Wilson, you uh, uh another Kim Spradlin. What are we thinking here for you know? I this... don't really oh, go ahead. Go, Colleen, you're up first, so please. Okay, I don't really have many uh, oh Garrett. Garrett was the professional poker player, Alina said in the chat. Okay, yeah. Um I don't really have many notes on her. So I guess I'm gonna say pre merge. Because they don't remember much. Pre-merge. I I'm gonna say pre-merge as well. I just I got a vibe. You know, she could either pre-merge or a goat to like final four. But I'm gonna say pre-merge. Jack, which what, what are you picking here? I'll say the she's gotta break the poker player curse. She's gotta be merge. Ooh. Okay. So you're saying merge. I was gonna go winner until I saw she was a poker player. <laughs> Well, why not just go for it, right? You still... Oh, I guess you're not picking winners. It's final three. Um, yeah. Jack, you still have one final three. Colleen... I have two. I know, I know, I know who my other two are going to be. All right. Well, David Vosi is next from Yasi. Again, I know. Here we go. He looks happy. Those eyebrows Hi. are definitely not plucked. Here we go. All right. Uh, go ahead. Isn't, isn't he a director like Martin Scorsese? Is that, is that who that is? No, a neurosurgeon, so that's... Oh, uh, wow. Traveling, snowboarding, and eating. And people are going to think I'm smart because I'm a neurosurgeon. Uh, Wants to... Has the uh, aggressive nature as Russell Hans. Kind of has a Russell vibe looking at yeah, him. Yeah, he does. Okay. Can I can I say something? Well, I, I have first pick. I'm going to say pre-merge on scowl alone. Okay. Jack, you're up next. Colleen, yeah, I'm going to say pre-merge because he doesn't look like a happy guy. <laughs> Uh, Colleen, you have something to say. You have the floor. Close Guys, out. this dude is going to be the first person out. I don't care if his tribe doesn't even go to tribal council. Like, he's going to, they're just going to send him over to the other tribe and kick him out. I'm so sorry if you're listening to this, David. You also strike me as the type of person because you name drop Rob Sesternino and David Bloomberg in like every single freaking interview you gave, like multiple times. David Bloomberg or Mike? No, no, David Bloomberg, the guy that does uh, the YX Lost Survivor. He does stuff on, on the RGP Network. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, he knows him? Is, is that what the deal is? Well, he, so I think they, what they do, or they used to, I don't know if they still do it because um, it's been two years, but, you know, they would offer to like counsel people. Like, I think Rob was like offered to like mentor people who wanted to like get their applications through or whatever. And he mentions how he like, you know, like thanks, for, up thanks, Rob, thanks Rob for all the help yeah right <laughs> like he just he name dropped them what did he did I write down exactly what he said I think I might have like paused it and written it down because I was like this guy is out first uh yeah he just kept name dropping <laughs> them um he doesn't want people to know that he like took the time to learn the strategy and he's 
you know, he's like, he's this season's well, he like took the time on his strategy. strategy and like, he really knows everything. And like, he just came, I'm so, again, I'm sorry, David. I, you strike me as the kind of person that is listening to this right now, even though you've never <laughs> heard about us, you just wanted to hear what we were going to say about you. <laughs> I hope he's not the one that sent Jay the package. You're so right, it. People don't like me either. I, you I'm sure you're a very nice person in real life who just came across you. as incredibly enthusiastic, but my vote. Do you have an opinion on him? <laughs> I think this person is going to be. I think he's he's pre merch. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there we go. Colleen letting, letting her I'm opinion. I'm sure he's flow. very nice in real life. <laughs> Are you sure? No. You sure, <laughs> it's almost like they're fake eyebrows. You, you remember that Seinfeld episode where they had the his Uncle Leo's eyebrows got burned off? <laughs> <laughs> they put they painted him on there. Why are you so angry? <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna call this guy Uncle Leo. He's uh, gonna be like Max and Shireen in their first season. Ooh, like yeah. he's gonna be like that. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. that's a you know, that's a good point. Fair assessment. Usually when somebody's like, I'm gonna keep all this wonderful things about me secret means that they're gonna blab all those wonderful <laughs> things within five minutes. Uh Deshaun Radden San Bernardino. This is Miami. Medical student. Cooking, making music, playing tennis. Pet peeve is being told what to do. <laughs> Look how it looks. Not something that, it, and it's not something that makes me mildly irritated. I deeply loathe being told what to do. Listen, I'm it's, not uh, saying I know it all, but I'd much rather try and free, fail. So a, yeah, a, a, he must not be married. And B, is he on, <laughs> is he on the same tribe as Sydney? Because I can't wait to see how that's um, going. Let's see. He <laughs> is. He is. <laughs> he is Luvu with Sydney. Oh, yeah. yeah this okay. guy. I don't know who's going first, but this guy's pre merge. Well, uh, Jack, you're up first. You're saying pre merge? Pre merge. You can't go in that attitude. Colleen? I think he's my he's one of my final three. I really Whoa. liked him. Well, oh, the guy that doesn't like to be told what to do. Yeah, I, I really liked his video. Okay. I'm going to say pre merge as well. Uh, Colleen, I think you have one final three I, left. I, I want to I know before he got to the island, was he in a wheelchair? Uh, <laughs> nice John Locke reference. Okay, there's three <laughs> players left: two for Yasi, one for Luvu. Uh, you, Colleen and Jack, you both still have one final three. I'm going. Left. I'm, I'm my, my final three Eight. on the blind. I'm going for the. Uh, wait, 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 just you have three picks left. I just want right, you to I'll know. Wait, right. I want you to be you aware of where you're at. Tony is he was last. <laughs> I didn't have enough final threes. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Tiffany is up next. Oh, I, mm, I, for, I didn't like her at all. Okay, Tiffany, Tiffany. She's forty-seven years old. Oh, it oh. makes so much sense. She's from, from Long the, Island. Exactly. Yeah, she's from, oh she's, my god. Exactly. Yeah. Can I use Every, another pre-merge? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Everything makes so much sense now that, that was... I feel, I find out she's from Long Island. Plainview is where my dad grew up. Okay. <laughs> her, her pet peeves I saw being being loud or being wrong. Did she say loud? Uh, let's see. Hobbies. Running, talking to people, building things in the house. Someone has to. Fear was describe you. Funny, loving, loud. Yeah, this is, this is a okay, long yeah, Islander. Yeah. Um, also, uh, just a reference to um, Only Murders in the Building. Yesterday had some love for Long Island. It was really, really <laughs> funny. Um, Jack, are you on that yet? The Martin Short, Steve Martin show? We haven't got Hulu yet, but we oh, okay. it's on uh, well, we are this get this episode had a really funny riffing between Steve Martin and Martin Short making fun of Long Island. Mm, chef's kiss. It was so good. It was very funny. Um, but um, <laughs> I thought that it was hilarious that she was going to. Colleen, is this, to... hold on. Is this you? My grandmother's my hero. <laughs> um, I would play with like Ozzy. We have a very strong love for our grandmas from on Long Island. Does she play right? competitively like Ozzy? <laughs> Dude, she actually thinks she's gonna pass herself off as mid thirties, <laughs> and that was her strategy. Why? I am mid thirties, and I can't pass myself off as mid thirties anymore. Okay. Ozzy, yeah, Ozzy was very, very, very athletic. Listen, okay, I don't want to knock her as maybe she's very athletic, maybe, but I'm yeah, just saying of the videos that I saw how, it again. How many? How many? How, I, I don't want to say that an edit can be seen like previews and stuff like that, but even in the preview edits, I was like, this person's not going far. That was that was my uh, gist. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not knocking her personally. I'm saying 
you don't compare yourself to Ozzy was like one of the most athletic she survivor could be. players. Of she all could team. be. She could be. People on Long Island know. love CrossFit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they tell you every five seconds. Uh, but Colleen, you are up first. Uh, Long Islander to Long Islander. Where oh, she's going? totally pre-merged. <laughs> Pre-merge, okay. Uh, I'm doing pre-merge as well. I thought pre-merge. I like her, though. I'm rooting for her now that I know she's from Plainview. <laughs> Jack? I think people will keep her around for a while, so I'll say merge. Okay. She might be She might be like, what's her name? The, what, what was the girl that did everything? Um, the model. She, uh, you know, she was. She did every job in the world. And then she oh, did oh, angry. Oh, Debbie. Be who? Debbie, that's right. She might be a Debbie. Debbie was fun TV. Come on. Debbie was super fun. I TV. don't get Debbie vibes from her. I honestly just get like a Long Island, 40 something Long Islander, to be honest. I know. When you compare yourself to Ozzy, I'm thinking Debbie. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> when I won the Olympics, um, I won those five gold medals. <laughs> the best part about Debbie on Survivor was that the editors changed her job type, her job like description <laughs> oh, underneath that was every the time best. she had a confessional. That was the best. All right. We it's have like, two she, left. She was, she was great TV. Uh, Jack, you're the only one with a final three left, right? No, I have a final three. Okay, so both of you only have one final three left between the final two players. Next up is Eric Abraham from Atlanta, Georgia. Currently lives in San Antonio, Texas. He's a nice guy. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> or a AKA boring guy. Hobbies are basketball, golfing, and reading. Hmm. Hey, he wants to play a hybrid of Richard Hatch and Wendell Holland with a touch of Boston Rob. I mean, that's a that's a good mix. Sure, let me pick I, three I of the best players of all time and just. Um. Also, his hero is his grandfather. Oh, that's nice. I like him. I think he's. Is it my? Who goes first? Uh, I am up first. I'm saying merge. A merger. Merger. <laughs> I'll say merge. Colleen. I'm going to say merge as well. Oh, so I guess the, the, the last, last person, you're going to have two three. final threes. <laughs> Heather Aldrit, the last one, our last Luvu, our last cast member to go through here on our picks. All right. Uh, and Heather. hold on. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> you two are going to have final three picks here. Yeah, we uh, are. From so, Charleston, Heather currently lives in Charleston, stayed home mom. Colleen, you have thoughts? Heather gives me like Sunday vibes or was it Christy, the mom that went to the final three with uh, oh, she, she got with Virgin ben. dude and Ben. And she got like, screwed. Well, so I think that we're going to get an arc from her that is like the personal journey arc, like Don Meehan, something like that, like where they struggled to begin with. And then like she makes it all the way to, you know, the final four or five or in my case, final three. And like, you know, her story is like her growth because her in one of her interviews, she says how she doesn't her biggest fear is going out there and being alienated and like, you know, not being a part of the group and not being included in things like remember, was it was it um, what's her face? Lisa, the child star with scooping. Lisa, Lisa, Wel well, yeah, Welcher. 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 well, yeah, Welcher, well, whatever. But like, didn't she cry? Blair, Blair from uh Right, that people weren't like including her in things, and then she went through this like personal growth, and you know made it to the final three. So that's the storyline vibe edits that I get from watching her. Heather, is that her name? Heather. Heather. Heather Cheddar. Oh, Jay is sorry. Muted. I was muted. To apologize for that. Uh, so Heather, uh, Colleen, your it's your last chance to put a final three here. I think you made a decent case. Not a great case. Uh, but I'm <laughs> Not a bad And uh, Jack. I'm going to say final three. And my only fear <laughs> is your only is that, that, some, that someone will be talking a lot on their cell phone. And that's your big pet peeve. So <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. All right. Well, there you go. There are our picks for final threes. Uh, Jack and, and Colleen pick? have Heather. Uh Colleen has Deshaun. We all pick Richard as a final three. Watch, Richard's going to be the first person out. <laughs> and freaking Sydney's right. going to win the whole game. <laughs> uh, Liana 
Uh, I had her as a final three. I also had Danny as a final three. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Winner's picks. Uh, we don't do winner picks until after the first episode. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm so proud that you remembered that. I remembered. It's not that hard. I said at the beginning of this episode. Oh, I wasn't listening. Yeah, I wasn't listening either. <laughs> I don't think you said it. <laughs> I did. I did say he it. He might too, but once he started with the rules, I fell asleep for a while. Anyway, that is it for this episode of Survivor with J-Jack and Colleen. Send an email to SurvivorJJC at... Gmail.com. Gmail. SurvivorJJC at... Gmail. Gmail. Dot com. Uh, join us live on our YouTube channel. I don't, is it youtube.com slash J and Jack? I don't know. Join our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash J and Jack group. We'll post links to the live streams on there as well as we post these to our podcast feeds as usual. Um, but if you do want to participate live, you can. Again, thank you to everyone in the chat uh, that is still here, like Ro, Elena, Randy, Silent Heroes, and Ro. Um, <laughs> Rose so having so much fun she showed up twice uh, Randy uh, we're going to watch the first episode until mid-October about to go away and totally cut off from the outside world for three weeks are you going to the Grand Canyon no, I, think he's climbing, I think he's climbing, climbing Mount Everest shut up really no Mount Everest <laughs> he probably died. He, Don't he, do I think he climbed it to the base one time he climbed it somewhere maybe okay all right yeah, I, I don't know I've been yeah. out of the loop but anyway uh, again, thank you for all of the Sher- participation in our, in our live shows. Oh, there we go. Sherry is still here. She's loving this. Chris is still here. Chris, Chris is, is still, still here. here. A great who else, crew. Who, who else is still here? You, know, <laughs> you the- could still be here, too, a week from now on Wednesday, September 22nd, 15 minutes after whatever time Survivor ends on the East Coast, because we will be here as well. But again, if you hit subscribe, if you're watching this live right now, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. You'll be notified once we make the post for this live stream. Want to uh, thank our patrons. Without uh, them, we would not be able to do podcasts on the Jane Jack Podcast Network. We want to especially thank who wants to take it. I don't Hart, know. Tech from Tokyo, Meg the Magnificent, uh, <laughs> Joanne with a plan, and Ed the Creepy Mailman. All right. I hope I got everyone. I did them out of order. Did I do it? I deleted four. Yeah. Eckhart Rigner. Yeah, I don't think you did him. Yeah, oh. I started with Eckhart Rigner, Tack from Tokyo, Maggie the Magnificent, Joy with the Planet, the Creepy Mailman. I didn't hear Eckhart, but go ahead. It might have cut out. Who knows? We don't know. All right. Well, that will do it for our first episode back in over a year. We will be here recording these podcasts live in front of a live studio audience, but also they'll be posted on our podcast feed. Feel free to join us live or listen after the fact. Give us feedback on iTunes. And until next time, I'll still away go and goodbye. <laughs> you can't take Get that. Everybody. From- <laughs> I'll still away go and goodbye. <laughs>